Hi! In this video, I'll be showing you how you can triple your room's load. But first, I wanted to show you all that this is not clickbait with this example build. This room has a 4000 load limit and this fish tank is 2600 load. Each star is 200 load. In case you didn't know, the ceiling light and walls have load too, so putting down the fish tank and the stars alone already goes past the load limit. Test it out yourself. Without my glitch, you'd only be able to place the fish tank and 5 out of these 6 stars. But I still had enough load to put down a library, a flower collection, some wall decker, and a vase collection. A lot of these lights and plants are 200 load for single furnishing too. I do think this glitch is a game changer for teapot mains, but it is a bit situational. I'll be using my own builds to give you guys some ideas, but that will be near the end of the video, so stay tuned and keep watching! First, there are a few conditions you should know about before trying this glitch. Number one, this glitch doesn't add to your load limit. What it does is it transfers available load from one room to another room. That means this glitch only works indoors. Next, while this glitch lets you place furnishings way past the load limit, this only works on furnishings that are not touching the ground. This means the glitch is limited to small furnishings and ornaments. Finally, this is tricky to pull off, but I promise you it does get easier. So this glitch works in any room in your interior, but because what you're doing is transferring load, I'd recommend using your main hall to transfer load to a nearby room since you probably aren't using a lot of the load in your main hall anyway. So say I want to put some lights in this room right here. I'm going to go to a nearby room. In this case, it'll be the main hall. And I'm going to put my lights on top of a larger furnishing. This larger furnishing is going to be your anchor. Next, I'm going to create a set by clicking on the smaller furnishings before the furnishing it's on top of. Without clicking accept, we're going to drag the anchor in a straight line and click cancel. Your smaller furnishing will reappear exactly as far as you dragged it, but in the opposite direction. Now you can slip the furnishing into your room using your anchor. Ta-da! That's it! So I know it sounds a bit intimidating putting your furnishings blind like this, but it does get much easier. The more furnishings you place, the easier it gets to place more furnishings because you just get a better picture of how the room looks. For example, I know if I drag it this far, I can get my furnishings right in the corner. If you don't like how your anchor looks, feel free to block it off with screens when you're done. And now that I've shown you how the glitch works, as promised, it's time to get into some of my own builds. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe. First, I have two different bedchamber designs that you should definitely watch, but I've already made a full video on them and pinned it in the comments and in the description, so I won't be getting into it here. For my next example, I'll be using a kitchen build from my Japanese style home video. Kitchens in general are extremely reliant on ornaments. So here you can see this glitch really shine. See all of these, um, all of these shelves, they're actually made up of tea sets. So everything, all of the shelves and everything on it, the flower and the ornaments, the little toys, they can all be brought in using the glitch. So the lower ones, there's a lot of counters get to that height, the taller sumeru tables, the higher ones you can bring in using the furnace. And you can bring in the lights over here too using the furnace. Of course, these, um, these plants can be brought in very easily. Plants are free, that's a big thing. Plants are extremely expensive, so with this glitch, that's free. This is free, everything on the table here. 
um, yeah, tea stuff, and you can put way more. See over here, you can finally put some fruit. I can make that look like a cutting board at last. I won't run out of load. And you can even put this thing that no one uses because it's just too much load. Ta-da! Anyways, thanks for sticking around until now. I do think this glitch is an absolute game changer for teapot mains. You can really save hundreds if not thousands and thousands of load. However, it does take creativity, so go ahead and test for yourself what furnishings this works on, and get building! Thanks for watching!